hey, this is part two of my window experiment to see if you really need to change out your old historic wood windows. If you haven't seen part one of this series, click this link right here and I'll also put a link in the description below. You'll remember from our last video, we had said we were gonna keep all the doors open and have even airflow and the air in the house was set to 68. All right, what we found was this room was getting crazy hot. It was just weird. There's two vents in here and it was pumping entirely too much heat in here. What we also found was that this vent right here was pumping a lot hotter air for whatever reason. We're talking five to 10 degrees hotter. And I don't know, maybe it's first on the line from the HVAC unit. Maybe there's a break somewhere. We don't know. And that was causing the temperatures in this room to read a lot hotter as well as this window reading hotter. But remember, this is a real home. So that is indicative of what would go on. And perhaps your house has differences in the windows and rooms. So we started experimenting and we logged all our changes. Pause. If you're new here, go ahead and like and subscribe and also check out my store in the link below. Some of you have asked how to support what I do. That's how. All right, back to the video. We started experimenting with like doors closed, doors open. And so what we ended up settling on was reducing the air to 64 degrees, closing both of the doors. Then that was making an average temperature more realistic. And since we're in the winter and it's pumping heat, this room has the advantage because this vent is pumping out hotter air. And we said we would give the advantage to the replacement window so nobody thinks that we're cheating or whatever. So what we're gonna do is change out this window for a traditional single pane. What I need to do is make parting beads for this window. They've got them in here, but they're part of the unit. So this piece right here is a parting bead. I can slide this blade all the way back. <laughs> the cat outside, if you can hear her, she has been fed. Do not let her call on you. replacement double pane window. <laughs> there was traditional single pane windows in here. How do I know? Because this parting bead is wood. It is always set inside a dado here. So it's already been milled out. They just pulled it out. So that's how I know, which is awesome for me because now I don't have to guess with the, with the like depth when I put one in. I can just pound it right back in this little channel shoot a nail in there and we keep going <laughs> so what you're saying is that these windows were originally the kind that you're putting in yes in the last video which was part one i was asking you guys if you guys know any differences things i missed just comments and earl mcgill had commented that there is a difference because there's not going to be any ropes and pulleys, there's not a balance system in here, and there's not any seals. Well, you're totally right about that. We aren't gonna have any sort of balance system. I'm gonna be doing a, um, a single hung upper sash, and the lower sash will be mobile. But we are gonna have like not that gap. There, normally, if you have ropes and pulleys, this whole gap back here behind the wall would have been open, and that is usually an issue for people with some energy efficiency. So we will have an advantage there. And also with the seals, well, of course, like these aren't double pane windows. So that seal in between them, yeah, we don't have that. And if you're talking about weather stripping seals, well, what we're gonna do later on is once we get some readings, we're gonna add some weather stripping to see if that makes a difference and add a wood storm window to see if that makes a difference. But good comment. Okay, we've got everything primed and we're ready to start putting in this sash. <laughs> okay, we got all the trim on and we are done. 
I've got my traditional single pane window installed, and right beside it is our still our replacement style double pane window. Now, all we've got to do is wait a few hours. We're going to come back tonight and then start taking some more measurements, and then we'll see where we go from there. So, this was part two. Remember, if you haven't seen part one, click on the link and I'll another one below. And part three is going to be coming up maybe another month or so after we collect all our data. I'm so excited to see what happens. Y'all. I'm Taylor, I'm Adrian's sister, and um, I'm the one that does all the filming, and I'm not actually uh, taking the readings uh, for the window data. Um, it's looking good. <laughs> uh, so, stay tuned, because it's looking very promising. 